Explosive secrets never revealed, now exposed by a Navy SEAL who was acquitted of murdering a teenage ISIS fighter. Our ABC 10 News anchor Vanessa Van Hefty followed the trial of Eddie Gallagher from day one and spoke with his defense attorney today about Gallagher's appearance on a new podcast. It was a murder trial that captured headlines all over the world. Navy SEAL Eddie Gallagher found not guilty of murdering an ISIS fighter in Mosul. The retired SEAL revealing bombshells on an Apple podcast released today. The grain of truth in the whole thing is that that ISIS fighter was killed by us and that nobody at that time had a problem with it. We killed that guy. Our intention was to kill him. Everybody was on board. Not one person was Your intention was, like, was to kill him? It was to do medical scenarios on him until he died. Gallagher was accused of stabbing an ISIS soldier while detained and also shooting at innocent civilians. He was acquitted of all charges except for the one in this picture where he poses next to the body of that 17-year-old terrorist. The 20-year Navy veteran says the efforts shown here to save the soldier's life weren't really efforts at all. He says they were nursing him to death. If you want to put it in a nice way, I guess, it's... Uh, I don't want to put it in a nice getting, way. It's, well, it's, yeah, nursing him to death or just killing him. I mean, I mean, he was going to die regardless. Like, we had no, we weren't taking any prisoners. We weren't bringing any back because that wasn't our job. The jury wanted to strip Gallagher of his rank, but then President Donald Trump jumped in, allowing Gallagher to keep his trident pin and retire as a chief. Gallagher now telling his story in a series of four Apple podcasts. His lawyer says today's bombshells show the realities of war. When they brought this terrorist into the camp, they did an initial assessment and it became clear that he was not going to survive. And so, yes, they made a decision to perform these medical uh, treatments on them for training purposes. Uh, and it is something that, believe it or not, happens every single day in emergency rooms across the country in the United States. We were there every day for the trial here at Naval Base San Diego that involved chilling testimony from members of SEAL Team 7 against their leader, Chief Gallagher. Today, he says all of those SEALs knew what the plan was and agreed to it. We all, we verbalized, everyone's like, let's just do medical treatments on him until he's gone. You talked about that? Yeah, it was said. Like, with with T.C. Burns and it was, Corey Scott or? Oh yeah. With both. And Craig Miller. I mean, Miller was, was laughing verbalized. about it. Of the seven SEALs from the platoon that testified against Gallagher, four of them remain SEALs today. Vanessa Van Hefty, ABC 10 News. Gallagher is now working on a book about the ordeal. It is expected to be released here in the coming months. He is retired and now living in Florida with his family.